When moving to a new city, state, or anywhere, if you have kids, you want to make sure you're picking the right school. Now, because we're talking about public school in this particular video, where you live and the home that you're in are going to determine where your children go to school. So in this video, we are going to cover the top three schools for elementary, middle, and high school so that you know where you should start your search. Now, just because it's not of the top three, there are some phenomenal schools here in Charlotte, and honestly, there were too many for me to list here. But stay tuned to the very end because I'm going to show you a simple trick that no matter what home you're looking at, you'll be able to find out exactly what that school is and a breakdown of their score so you can make an educated decision. If you want to know everything having to do with eating, sleeping, living in Charlotte, the good, the bad, and everything in between, you've come to the right channel. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that little bell for notifications on all of our upcoming videos so you can be completely informed on what's going on in and around Charlotte. So let's dive in. We were talking about the best public schools in Charlotte. Now, some of these scores might surprise you, but again, stick around to the end. I'm going to show you exactly where to find all the scores, all the schools, and make sure you're picking the right location for a school of your choice. Here's where we're going to start. Elementary school. Where else? We're going to hit the top three elementary schools. In number three for elementary schools here in Charlotte, we have Polo Ridge Elementary. Now, Polo Ridge, here's some fun facts. It has a 15 to 1 student ratio, and the population size of students is only 645. In addition to that, 80% of the students were proficient in reading as well as math. And the minority status, or the amount of minority students that are in the school, is 53%. Number two on our list of elementary schools is Irwin Academic Center. Now the Irwin Academic Center also has a great student to teacher ratio of 14 to one with only 373 students. 83% of students are proficient in math and 79% were proficient in reading. In addition to that, their minority percentage is 80%. And number one for elementary schools in Charlotte with the highest ratings, is Providence Spring Elementary. Now, Providence Spring Elementary is an absolutely beautiful school, and here's some cool things about Providence. The student-to-teacher ratio is 14 to one. In addition to that, there's 747 students. For this particular school, 83% of students were proficient in math, and 83% were also proficient in reading. Now, I bring these proficiency scores up because it's really showing that the teachers are truly in connection with the children, which means they are learning and taking that with them. Now the minority percentage or enrollment for the school is 32%. So that takes us to the next level. Now I am going to add a little bit of information here. In North Carolina, and specifically of course Charlotte, elementary school goes from first grade to fifth grade. That's right. I know up north and sometimes out east that it actually goes from first grade to sixth grade, not so much here. So middle school covers from sixth grade until eighth grade. So it's a three years of middle school. Number three on our list for middle schools is Piedmont Middle. Now Piedmont Middle has a 23 to one student to teacher ratio with 1200 students in the school. Now here's some of the interesting fun facts with regards to the scoring test scores for this middle school. 73% of students were proficient or above in math and 73% proficient or above in reading. In addition to this, the minority enrollment is 80%. Number two on the list of middle schools is Bailey Middle. Now Bailey Middle has a 91 to one student to teacher ratio and 1,400 students in the school that are currently enrolled. Now Bailey has 76% proficiency for math and a 73% proficiency for reading. The minority enrollment for Bailey Middle is 32%. That takes us to number one. Number one on our list of middle schools is J.M. Robinson Middle. Now J.M. Robinson, again, also has a 19 to one student to teacher ratio. In addition to that, they have 1,268 students enrolled 
but here's where it really gets impressive. Their proficiency for math is at 87% and proficiency for reading is at 79. In addition to that, their minority enrollment is 42%. Now we dive into high schools. Now high school can be very challenging, not only as a student, but let's face it, as a parent, having to pick a high school is extremely challenging. So take one thing off your plate by at least going with those that are really focused on academics. We're gonna go through the top three high schools in Charlotte Mecklenburg County for your students. Number three on the list for high schools is Providence High School. Providence High School has a 95% graduation rate. Now, compared across the country and across the state, that is extremely high. In addition to that, 62.1% of graduating students are college ready. Now, the way they look at college readiness has to do with their testing scores, etc., and that'll determine their readiness to not only attend college, but to succeed at college, and that's really the big thing. In addition to that, there are 2,000 students in the school and minority enrollment is at 31%, with 7% that is actually economically disadvantaged. Now, number two is a little bit surprising. Number two is Cato Middle College High School. I know, it's a mouthful, but this is actually a very interesting school that was put together as a magnet school, and it ranks number 11 in all of North Carolina. Here's some fun facts about Cato Middle College High School. It has a 99% graduation rate with a 40.9% college readiness score. Now, the interesting fact about this particular school is there's only 136 students. That's extremely low, which means that there's a very tight student to teacher ratio. In addition to that, their minority enrollment is 78% with 31% being economically disadvantaged. That speaks a lot of volume when you're talking about all of the high schools across the state of North Carolina, that it comes in number 11 and it comes in number two here in Charlotte. But that brings us to number one, the number one public high school in Charlotte Mecklenburg County is Audrey Kell High School. Audrey Kell High School ranks number 10 in the entire state of North Carolina and number one in Charlotte Mecklenburg. It has a 98% graduation rate with a 67% college readiness score. Now, in addition to that, there's 3,400 students. So it's not necessarily a small high school, which means across the board, they're doing a wonderful job with their students. The minority enrollment is at 49% with 7% of their students being economically disadvantaged. Now, I am pretty proud to say that we have two of the top schools for high school in the state of North Carolina, right here in Charlotte, among so many other wonderful schools, middle, elementary, and high. Now, like I said, there are so many middle schools, high schools, and elementary schools, it would have taken me hours to list them all out in detail in this video. However, I'm gonna give you a cool trick. This is a way that you can search any school, and that doesn't matter whether it's elementary, middle, or high, you can search any school in Charlotte-Mecklenburg County and the surrounding areas and find not only perhaps a location of a home you're considering or an area you're considering, but you can also start with the school and see where the boundaries are. Go to greatschools.org. It'll be in the description below. Type in whatever address you desire and it'll show you what your assigned school is. Now, of course, in this video, we were just talking about the public schools. We also have charter schools, private schools, and specialty academies. So be sure to keep your eyes open and take a look even deeper. We'll probably end up doing a video on some of those as well, so you can be well informed if you wanna go some of those routes. In addition, North Carolina does support homeschool as well. So keep that in mind as you're making your journey here. And remember, whether you're nine days or 90 days from moving, whether it's across the country or across town, our team, the True Lane Group and myself, would love to help you on your journey every step of the way to make sure that it happens exactly the way it needs to. So until our next video, I look forward to seeing you around town.